500 years ago, people still thought that the Earth was the center of the cosmos. Then scholars, and finally even the church, had to grudgingly acknowledge that the Earth orbits the Sun. Today, we know of many suns, millions of galaxies, and scientists must settle with the thought that they neither know exactly how the universe began, nor what the cosmos really is. Quantum physics provides ever new evidence that our cosmos cannot be the only one and the existence of parallel worlds, the multiverse, and other hitherto unknown dimensions is becoming increasingly likely. Researchers recently even announced to have found the proof for the existence of the multiverse. And that's exactly what this video is about. But first, we would like to say a few words on our own behalf. If you like our videos and would like to see more of them in the future, you can subscribe to our channel now. And if you also activate the notification bell, you will get a message each time we upload a new post. At the end of the video, we would love if you give us a like for this excursion into the world of quantum physics and the multiverse. Only change is constant. It is a fascination of natural science that every generation and every age has been firmly convinced of having found irrefutable truths or values. Even in the Middle Ages, people thought that the sun moved around the earth. Galileo Galilei was defamed as a heretic and imprisoned by the church for years because he had recognized that it was the other way around. Today we know that our sun is only a comparatively small and not so bright star in a side arm of the Milky Way galaxy. There are billions of stars out there, a hundred trillion planets, and much more. The only uniqueness that has remained is our existence as humans and organic living beings. So far, we have not been able to locate other life forms. Realistically, we also have to admit that our technical capabilities and our reach into space are still very limited. While some scientists are still searching the vastness of space for clues about our origins and those of the cosmos, others have come to believe that there may be other worlds right next to, behind, in front of, above, or within our own. Since quantum physics has changed the world of material phenomena, it has become more likely that we live in a projection of our own making, and that multiverses or other varieties of reality are our constant companions, although we do not realize it. Quanta are the smallest particles of light. They were discovered about 100 years ago by Albert Einstein. He actually got his Nobel Prize for the quantum description and not for the theory of relativity as generally assumed. Shortly after their discovery, quanta turned out to be highly unpredictable particles. They exhibit the property of suddenly appearing out of nowhere, taking on a form, and then quickly disappearing again. This unsteady pattern of quantum fluctuation could be the basis of our material world. Thus, it is neither fixed nor definite, but highly variable. However, the researchers found not only an unsteady flickering of light as the basis of all being, but also a property of quanta that still raises great questions today. A quantum remains an unspecified potential that carries infinite possibilities until it's observed. Then a quantum takes on a fixed particle form. Applied to daily life, this would mean that your dining table disappears into the world of quanta as soon as you or someone else no longer perceive it. These discoveries corroborated theories that our world is nothing but a projection. Ordinary physics rules seem to have no more existence in this world. Exactly for this reason, Albert Einstein rejected his own discovery as well as quantum physics also all his life. God does not throw dice. The ingenious physicist and mathematician had once said, by that, he wanted to express that there cannot be probabilities and indeterminate possibilities in the universe. If we take a closer look at the quantum theories, this does not mean at all that there are no fixed and reliable quantities in this universe. It is very likely, however, that these quantities are far more variable than assumed so far and exist in several variants. Researchers must slowly come to terms with the fact that there may be universes that follow completely different physical laws. Moreover, the findings basically mean that our world is shaping up the way we think or expect it to be. Schrodinger's cat is very often mentioned in this context, a quantum physics thought experiment that also forms the basis of the multiverse theory.
dead, alive, run away, or disappeared. In the 1930s, Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger was researching quantum models of reality. His thought model involved the following experimental arrangement. A living cat is placed in a box with a hammer, a tiny vial of hydrogen cyanide, and a radioactive substance. If even a single atom of the radioactive substance decays during the test period, a relay mechanism triggers the hammer, which in turn breaks the poison vial and causes the cat to die. According to quantum theory, an innumerable possibility of variation exists until the experimenter opens the box and makes a measurement by his perception. Up to this point, the probability that the cat is dead or alive is 50% in each case. Strictly speaking, however, an innumerable further number of possibilities exists. The cat could have simply disappeared from the box and gone off to another dimension. The pharmacist has filled harmless brine in the vial instead of acid. The cat is dead, although the poison mechanism has not been triggered, and so on. According to the Many Worlds theory formulated by Rupert Everett in 1957, it's not only that one of these variants has been brought into reality, but that all of them coexist. Thus, our world would split into an innumerable number of other parallel worlds at any moment. Practically, this would mean that also you and I exist in many other worlds, times, and dimensions without our present consciousness noticing it. The Proof for the Multiverse The assumptions of many worlds and possibilities present something of a challenge to the brain and perhaps even to the imagination. For die-hard rationalists and old-school natural scientists, such models of thought and quantum theories are an impossibility. Others, however, have no trouble imagining the multiverse or a many-dimensional existence. One such scientist is cosmologist Laura Mersini Houghton, who researches and teaches at the University of North Carolina. For her, it's all but certain that our cosmos is not the only one. In Mersini Houghton's opinion, there have been other universes before the beginning of our cosmos. The Big Bang probably created not only one, but several universes. Mersini Houghton's theory states that the universe in its earliest moments must be understood as a quantum wave function and thus as a mathematical description of a cloud of innumerable possibilities. From this, according to the insights of quantum mechanics, only a multitude of different universes could have formed. Laura Mersini Houghton is of the opinion that so-called dark spots or cold spots within the cosmic background radiation are indications of crossing points with other universes. Commenting on this assumption, astrophysicist Tom Shanks of Durham University said, We cannot completely rule out the possibility that the spot is caused by an improbable fluctuation that can be explained by the standard Big Bang theory. But if that's not the right answer, there are more exotic explanations. Perhaps the most exciting of these is that the cold spot was caused by a collision between our universe and another bubble universe. If further analysis confirms this, then the cold spot would be considered the first evidence for the multiverse. Meanwhile, Professor Mersini Houghton goes on to explain that in the multitude of possibilities, there are very likely universes far more inhabited than ours. According to her theories, we are at the intersection of a universe inhabited by many civilizations and our own, where organic life is a rarity. You can think of this as if we were the only settlers on the edge of an otherwise inhospitable world. Perhaps we also slipped here from another universe far more conducive to life and became something like cosmic outsiders. Such similar ideas exist not only in quantum physics, but also in ancient myths. The Multiverse in Religion and Mythology In the scriptures of the Vedas, from which Hinduism originated, there are numerous descriptions of the multiverse. There, our universe is only one of an infinite number of universes, which are all parts of an infinite multiverse. The creation possibilities within the universes and the multiverse are infinite and eternal. There is no beginning and no end. Universes and dimensions are inhabited by humans, demons, and gods. By far, not all worlds are material like ours. There are entities that live in subtle worlds or entities that can choose their form at will. Humans spend only a limited time in this world in the conceptions of the Hindus. After death, they enter other worlds and dimensions as spirit beings. Similar conceptions existed also with the old Greeks in Persia and with the Teutons 
The Germanic tribes believed in nine worlds, which were inhabited by gods, ice beings, humans, and other entities. Today, we can't exclude the idea that early cultures knew about these worlds for some reason. It's always amazing that people without advanced technology possessed accurate knowledge of astronomy. At that time, the traditions of religion and natural science were still inseparable. People's knowledge came from observations and from the clairvoyant perceptions of shamans or priests. Today, of course, classical natural science is far from recognizing religious ideas or mythological stories as evidence for the existence of a multiverse. But also, on a very real level, the indications are corroborating that there are further worlds in which other standards rule. A quite earthly proof? In 2014, researchers found evidence of a parallel universe right here on our Earth. From 2006 to 2016, researchers were in Antarctica to measure neutrinos there. Neutrinos usually come to us from other stars or cosmic events, like supernova explosions. During the measurements, the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or the Anita Balloon, caught a neutrino swarm that came from inside the Earth. According to previous assumptions, however, this could not be the case, because neutrinos can only penetrate very thin forms of matter, but never the entire Earth with its core of iron and countless layers of rock. But the measurement data were clear. The neutrinos had traveled 4,480 miles through the Earth's interior before they encountered the researchers' measurement sensors. So far, there is only one coherent explanation for this phenomenon. The particles could come from a parallel dimension. This would exist not only in our direct neighborhood, but calculations suggest that time runs backwards in this dimension as seen from our perspective. So it's very likely only a matter of time until the existence of multiverses and parallel worlds is confirmed. What do you think? What could these worlds look like? And above all, where do you think parallel worlds and other universes are located? We welcome your ideas and opinions on the topic, as always, in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time at Simply Space.